Hey y'all, it's your girl Segment Divine, aka the Brown Yogi, hey. and today we're gonna Good be giving boy. my Sphinx cats a bath. Gigi is very vocal about her uh, desire to not take a bath. She's even looking for an exit out of the bathroom. Sorry, honey, there isn't one. There isn't really an order in which I give the cats a bath. It really is just who I feel wants to go first. Today, we chose to do Onyx. When it comes to bath time, Onyx is loud but doesn't fight you. Gigi is not loud and will draw blood. Normally, we cut their nails before they get a bath. Today, I didn't do that, but honestly, it really isn't that bad. Although Gigi does like to try to claw at you a couple of times, in reality, we usually give them a bath in under five minutes or less, so their pain is not very long. Online and in person, you'll probably get varied responses from people as to how many times you should give your Sphinx cats a bath. We like to give them a bath once a week because we notice that anything longer than once a week tends to make our allergies act up. I like to give them two washes of shampoo. These cats get dirty, especially Onyx. He is usually caked up, although Gigi has a lot more folds than he does. So yeah, they both equally get very dirty in their own way. As you can see, I don't like to play games about their folds. I really try to get into every single crevice, every single fold they have because, y'all, I don't want my cats to give me allergies. I try to make it as quick and enjoyable for them as I can. So as you can see, I'm giving him a massage. I'll sometimes play music and I always give them treats afterwards. <laughs> I only put shampoo on their body and then with some water I will rinse out their face if they have any eye boogies, but it's really a quick and simple process. I'm very blessed these cats don't. They could be a lot worse. <laughs> and to finish off the bath, I make a burrito. That way you so bad. <laughs> and now that Onyx is all done, we move on to the spicy queen. Put the paws away. <laughs> Put the paws away. I feel it. It's in my boob. Put it away. Uh -huh. Loosen up. Loosen. Loosen up. Gigi is a lot more feisty and a lot more quick than Onyx. He's got some weight to him. So with Gigi, it's a lot more of a hands-on situation. We used to make it a two-person job. However, she's kind of gotten a little bit used to it. And we've kind of found that um, massaging her makes it go a little bit easier. But yes, if you take your eye off of her for one second, she will take any opportunity she can to escape. Make her not choose violence. That's what I thought you were doing. <laughs> Gigi weighs a whopping six pounds. 
Onyx weighs a whopping 16 pounds. So uh, it's pretty safe to say that he fills his folds a little bit more than Gigi does. As a result, Gigi's folds get really dirty. So I really, really go and make sure that um, her folds are nice and clean. And I promise you, although it looks crazy, I am not choking her. That is literally the only way we can keep her from running away. But no, my grip on her is not tight at all. If she does move, it's not like she's going to choke. That is not my intention with holding her back. And just like Onyx, I only use water to clean their face. Gigi always has a bunch of eye boogies on her face. They're a lot more noticeable because she has white fur. Onyx does get boogies, but they kind of blend in with his face because his boogies are black, his face is black. Even though come bath time, Gigi is a spicy burrito, we still love her and she still loves us very much too. I think one of the funniest parts about giving these cats a bath is that both of them shake off just like a dog does after getting a bath. We also clean off their collars, so when we're done giving them a bath, we put back on their freshly washed collars and they are done. After a bath, Gigi likes to pretend like she's on the Maury show, <laughs> and they just told her that Onyx is not the father. Kenneth, you are not! Oh, bitch. Ah! She likes to run away from us, but not to fear, we did get the collar back on her, and these two kitties are done for this week.